Hi friends, my name is Ashley Osborne and I have spent countless hours of my life researching, learning, and practicing all the different ways we can make money online. My goal with this channel is to prove to you that not only can you too make money online, but you can do so easier and faster than you think. If making money online interests you, then please hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification. That way you get notified every time I make a video. Let's get into today's video, shall we? Hey guys, thanks so much for hopping on today. We are going to talk about digital design backgrounds, and these are one of the most valuable things that you can create in a digital shop because there's so much that your customer can do to them and turn them into new different things. And it's really exciting. And then with that, their end customer can, can do something with it. It's something that can be used in a lot of different ways by a lot of different people. And therefore it makes it a very valuable digital file. So right now, what you're looking at is my five backgrounds with and without shadow, uh, a drop shadow, which is the shadow behind the image, as you can see here. There's like a shadow behind them. So I have 10 total in this bundle. There's five of these with a drop shadow and five of them without a drop shadow. These look pretty cool, but basically they're just basic bricks. Um, nothing super special about them. They were very easy to make. Um, if you guys are curious how to go about making something like this, drop that in the comments below and we can do a video on that. But pretty much it's just a basic background. And then we have kind of a cool looking splatter, rustic-y looking edgy shape, okay? And what I'm gonna show you now is what a customer could do to it after they buy this. So let's say your customer is another digital designer like yourself, okay? This is something that they could create right here. You can see that this background right here, it's the same as this one right here. It's the same one. All I did was bring it into this, add the word freshman, add some splatter, and make a whole new design, just like we did in the previous video, how we took um, a free design from Design Bundle's free design section, and then we added some stuff to that sunflower, and we created a new design, and then we were able to resell it. That's all I did so with popular. this. Let me show you a few different ways that people use these types of backgrounds when it comes to t-shirts, okay? T-shirts will be like the most popular, which is why I usually always feature them on a t-shirt in some way. But you can kind of see here, okay, this is a great example because not only do we see that them using maybe um, a, a background here with the leopard print, but we can see that these types of shirts are really popular right now with the different bleached out sections of the, of the sweatshirt. And so what they could take, is a background like this, perhaps not brick, but um, another cheetah print perhaps, and they could put it right here on all these bleach spots. So that's another use that somebody could use it. Okay, we'll go here and this background right here, you can see that they're using it here behind the word mama. They're using it here a little bit and they're using it here a little bit. So really, really cool. Perhaps they bought, I mean, you know, they, they could have purchased this whole design together or they could have purchased just this background and then added the word mama. No idea, but that's something that they could have done. Here's another example. You can see the outline is kind of similar to what we have going on on these brick patterns, a little splatter, a little, I don't know, edgy look to it. And then all they did was add on top of, uh, that background, all they did was add a lightning bolt. Now they could have purchased this design by itself. They could have created this design by itself. But my point is, is just to show you that you can have a bundle with the different types of shapes of this leopard print. Just like I have different shades of this, you could have different shapes. You could have this leopard print or cheetah print, leopard, okay. in this rectangle shape, in a circular shape, in a heart shape, in more of a splatter shape. You can choose all different types of shapes and that in itself can be a bundle. Very quick, very easy to create for you, very valuable for your customer. And then here's another example. So here what they have is they have, you can see again, another background just like that that we have, okay? And then we have all these other elements added on top of it. So 
those are a lot of different ways that people have used those sublimation backgrounds like these in their work, whether it be an end product like a t-shirt or like this where they have created another digital product. Okay, so I hope that makes sense to you guys. I hope you can see all the different ways that people can use these, these backgrounds and why they're so versatile and why they're so appealing to your, to your customers. We are going to open a whole new 12 by 12 canvas. As you know, that's what I like to work in. We're gonna go to pixels and I'm gonna do 3600 by 3600. And we are definitely gonna have 300 DPI because that gives us a high resolution. It's going to be pixels and we're going to hit create. This gives us a 12 by 12 canvas. Right away when I'm doing sublimation, I always go to my document setup here, click on color and click transparent because I know that my background needs to be transparent if I'm going to be doing any sublimation. Now, to get a perfect circle, all you have to do is hold down shift and you'll get a perfect circle. Okay, then we'll move that. And we'll go back to Pixel Persona, go to the paintbrush, select. We want to go ahead and add a new pixel layer. Okay. And we will go right over the top. Of this circle. Okay. And maybe we want a little bit more. Maybe we want like a different type of, of a splatter. Got some more splatter in here. Just make it look, you might not look great yet. It's okay. If you wanna see how it's coming together, click on your shape, turn your shape to a black. Okay, and then go back up to your pixel layer. And we will go ahead and click on yet another uh, splatter brush here. And we'll add some more. We really want it to start looking like it's coming off of this shape. Like they're all a part of each other. Okay, I like that so far. Now, to make it more, how do you say, more cohesive, more together. Um, we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this layer, this pixel layer again. Control C, Control V. And you see how it's gotten a lot thicker. We're gonna do it one more time. And let's try one more time. And I'm gonna do one more. Love it, okay. We can just do a color overlay for the first option. And what you'd wanna do is you'd wanna select both of these, hold down shift and select both. Then go to effects, color overlay, and we will just choose a different color, okay? So you can see how we can go all the way around and we can change the color to any of these colors we would like. We can even move it to a deeper color a lighter color. So that's one way that you can get a background in the, you know, in the, in a solid color. Okay. Okay. And from here, you would just click, make sure that you can insert inside the selection. Okay. Click each individual. Remember these are individual. So you will need to click on this pixel right here, this pixel layer, excuse me. Then go File, Place. And we're just gonna scroll down here just a little bit until we get to one that we like. I'm going to go ahead and use this, it's from Pexels. Okay, now that does not look great yet, but that's okay. Okay, so now you can see how it has put that Pexels image inside those pixels there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control C and we're just gonna do that same exact thing but move down to the next layer. So click the layer, go to put it inside, Control V. 
Don't move anything. Select the next layer. Click the inside. Control V. Next layer. Control V. Next layer. Control V. And then the circle layer. Control V. Now we have that shape filled with the image from Pexels. Okay, and there, there you have it. That's it, all done. Now you have a sublimation background already ready to go and be put on your website. You would then choose to do different shapes. Maybe you want to do it in a square. Um, maybe you just want a square. Maybe you want, you know, something different. So um, as you can see, it's super easy to make it in all different types of shapes. And then you can share that with your customers have all of the different options. You know, it could be all different types of, of things. You could do different shades, different colors, uh, different patterns. I mean, the, the, the list goes on. We'll get more into that in future videos, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from this. Remember, you do not have to use Affinity Designer for this. You can use, uh, you can use uh, Photopea, you can use Illustrator, you can use Photoshop. There's a whole bunch of programs. Photopea is free, so I would definitely recommend that one if you're just starting out. It has a lot of the same controls that this same program has, but it's free. Uh, so there you have it. I hope you guys got something out of today, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.